After his superb 2015 season, in which he was a regular challenger at the top of leaderboards around the world, Denmark's Soren Kjeldsen has carried that fine form into this year too. Five European Tour top tens so far, and strong major performances at Augusta and Royal Troon have helped elevate the Dane into the top 20 on the race to Dubai rankings. It's been a good season. Um, last year was, was big for me, I mean, a big change around in form. And, uh, and I think, you know, commentators always talk, talk about playing at one really low round and it's tough to follow that up. And I think uh, I was in a little bit the same situation coming into this season. Last year was great and then can you follow up on that? And I think I've done pretty well. Um, I, I don't think I've quite hit the highs yet. Uh, but it's, very, it's been very consistent and uh, I've been very proud of my, uh, my performances at the majors and, um, and overall it's been, it's been nice, steady progress and I, I think I'm, I'm still learning a lot and I'm still enjoying it. It's all rather a contrast to Kjeldsen's emotions during the 2014 season. Then the Dane was struggling for form and a dip in results saw his world ranking plummet. It caused him to question his whole future in the game. He claims a change of mental approach was the key to a change in fortunes. I think one of the main reasons was uh, because I was really struggling with my game, you get, you get really into results because you need a good week to take pressure off and all that. And when you need results, you never get them. So, um, so I think for me, the fun of it sort of left me a little bit because it was all about getting the end result. And I think. You know, if, if you're going to climb Mount Everest and you're thinking about the top when you take the first step, I think it's going to be very difficult. You've got you to enjoy the journey. When, when I sort of took that approach, I think there was a little bit of a more playful attitude as well. I felt like I played golf like more like when I was 12 years old, stuff like that. Just being out there because I love it. I love hitting that little white ball and I love the challenges that you face when you play. So I think when you, when you get into that mindset, I think golf becomes easier. Kjeldsen has taken his newfound approach into the big events this year to card his best ever performances in the majors. A tied seventh finish at the Masters was followed by a fantastic week at Royal Troon for the Open Championship, where the Dane went into the weekend as a contender for the Claret Jug, proving his ability to perform in the toughest conditions. I think number one is uh, I generally like hard golf courses, so um, I think if, if you look at my stats over the years, I think I've done better, definitely a lot better on, on tough golf courses. It's not a lot of times that I've shot, you know, 20 under, stuff like that on easy golf courses. So, uh, and, and obviously majors being tough, I like that challenge and uh, I love Augusta, uh, I love the Open. Uh, and it has to be said, I was in the right half of the draw as well this week, uh, this year at the Open. And it made quite a big difference this year, I think. First two days I scored really well um, and I was in a good position. Then the third day I had like a little slip. Uh, when, when you got to like the 10th uh, at Troon, you had a few really tough holes. And I sort of lost it a little bit for three or four holes on the Saturday. Cost me quite a lot. Then I, then I uh, held it nicely, uh, held it together nicely, last few holes. So finished Saturday all, off okay. And then Sunday I played really well, didn't score so well. So, all in all, I mean, if you know, when, when you look at the four days like that, I mean, not a, not a whole lot went wrong. I think overall it was very solid performance and I only had that little four or five hole stretch on the Saturday that sort of cost me a little bit. Clearly not a man to rest on laurels, Kjeldsen's already plotting his next challenge. I've kept my card in America, so, so one, of my, one of my ambitions when I started out was that I I always wanted to play one full season in America, so I'll probably play 16, 18 events uh, on the PGA Tour next year, and then um, and hopefully after that I'll come back to Europe. Uh, but I'll, I'll still play in Europe next year, but I'll, I'll try and split it a little bit next year, and then get that experience, and then I can sort of tick that box. And uh, It's nice when you're grey and old, and you can say, I played on the PGA Tour as well, you know, it's a great experience, so, so uh, I'm happy to get that opportunity now. <laughs>